Welcome back to our series of videos designed to help you find your past more easily. If you've been with us from the start, you'll know that we looked at how to start your family tree in video one, and then how to search our records in video two. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the stories behind the names and dates in your past. Now, where were we? We left John Lennon's grandmother's family in Lydia Ann Street, Liverpool. The 1911 census showed us that Annie Stanley, John's grandmother, and his two aunts, Mary and Elizabeth, were living there, but George, John's grandfather, was nowhere to be seen. So, our first mission is to find George. If you want to search a specific set of records, like our British Army Service records, for example, go to Search and then A to Z of Record Sets. This is a full list of all the record collections we have on Find My Past, from Julia's birth certificate that we found in our second video, we know her father's occupation was a seaman in the Merchant Navy. So let's start there and see what we can find. If George was a merchant seaman in 1911, then he might have sailed to sea or even lived beneath the waves when the census was taken. This top result looks like a match. Notice how they've shortened his name here. That's why it's a good idea to use the name variance filter when searching. Yes, this looks like our George. The birth year and birth place match up closely enough. Remember that birth places and years may change from record to record. Some people either lied about their age or simply forgot. Let's look at the original document. This is where it could get interesting. If there is a record available, always check it to learn further information. Here, we learn that George was five foot six, he had brown eyes, light hair, and a light complexion. If we scroll down, we get something even more precious. These are George's discharge papers. Look, there, right at the bottom. That's George's own signature, his handwriting. Amazing, a little piece of George right there on the page. It also answers our question. George was probably at sea when the 1911 census was taken. It's these little stories that make family history so interesting. It's not about names and numbers, it's about the relationships, experiences, and moments that have shaped your future. One of the things that's unique to Find My Past is our exclusive access to millions of newspaper pages. You'll need a pro subscription to access the newspapers, but it's so worth it. To show you, let's see if John's father, Alfred, made the papers. Go to search, and then newspapers and periodicals. We'll try 1900 to 1949 and a county location of Lancashire. Don't be too exact. And remember, if your ancestor was in the newspapers, they could also appear in other regional titles too, so think big. The top result looks like a birth announcement for John. The first time, but definitely not the last time, he appeared in the newspapers. Handily, it also tells us where they were living when John was born. From here, we could keep digging. We might find that some of John's ancestors emigrated to the US, for example. Or we could take a look through our collection of court and prison records to see if any of his family found themselves on the wrong side of the law. But you have your own family to find, stories to uncover and secrets to unlock, so we'll let you get on. Remember, if you feel like saying, help, I need somebody, there are lots of useful tips here. And to meet some fellow fans of family history, why not join our thriving community on social media? We'll see you there.